Hi friends, we are continuing lecture on partial differential equations. In this lecture, we will be studying about how to find the solution of non-linear partial differential equations by using Chirpel's method. So this is the general form of a partial differential equation. So, so this is the subsidiary equation. By using this subsidiary equation, we have to find the values of either P or Q and substitute that P or Q in the given equation after the find the solution of Z, Z equal to P dx plus Q dy. From that we can find the solution. So these are the three steps we have to remember it. So first of all, you have to remember this subsidiary equation. So from this, you have to find either P or Q. So after finding the P or Q, so substitute that value in the given equation. So after that, using the Z equal to P dx plus Q dy, from that you can find the solution of the given differential equation. Now in this, what is FP, what is FQ, what is FX, what is FZ, what is FY? So generally, this is a subsidiary equation dx by minus fp equal to my dy by minus fq equal to dz by p into this value minus q into this value equal to dp by fx plus pfz equal to dq by fy plus qfz equal to t5 by q. Now what is fp? fp means, so we are differentiating this f with respect to P partially. So that is FP. So do F by do P equal to FP. Partial derivative of F with respect to P. Similarly, partial derivative of F with respect to Q. That is FQ. F suffix Q. Similarly, FZ means partial derivative of F with respect to Z. So FX means partial derivative of F with respect to X. So FY, partial derivative of F with respect to so already I explained we have to find either P or Q and substitute this value in the given equation using this formula you have to find the value you have to find the solution. Now we will see one example. Solve Px plus Qy equal to Pq. So first of all write down the subsidiary equation. From this we have to find the values of Fp, Fq fx, fy, fz. So what is f? f equal to px plus qy minus pq. Now we have to find fp. fp means we are differentiating f with respect to p. With respect to p, q is constant, this is 0. Derivative of p is 1, you will get here x. Derivative of p is 1, you will get q. So that means x minus q. Similarly, fq. So with respect to q, so p is 0, uh, q is 1, we will get y here. Here q is 1, you will get p. That means y minus p. Next, fz. There is no z term in this. Therefore, with respect to z, this value is 0. fx. With respect to x, so this is constant 0, this is constant 0, x value is 1, 1 into p, p. Similarly, we will get q. So now we have to substitute all the values in the subsidiary equation. So from this, you can easily find the value of either p or q. So dp by p equal to dq by q. So therefore, log p equal to log q plus c. For our convenient, we are writing this log c. So therefore, log p equal to log qc, we will get p equal to qc. Now substitute p equal to qc in this equation and find the value of q. So therefore, q equal to xc plus y by c1. Now substitute this q1 in this and you will get the value of p. 
cancel this therefore p equal to x c1 plus y so therefore z equal to p dx plus q dv solution in this substitute the values p and q p is x c1 plus y and q is x c1 plus y by c1 so multiply this c1 dz equal to so c1 into x c1 plus y into dx plus x c1 plus y dy so rewrite this rearrange this we will get c1 dz equal to x c1 plus y c1 dx plus dy so therefore c1 z equal to so integral of this x c1 plus y whole square by 2 plus c2 so like that you can find the solution so in this first of all you have to remember that substitute equation from that substitute equation you have to find the either p or q and substitute that value in the given equation and find the other value if you are calculated p you can have to find the value of q if you are calculated p q find p and substitute p and q in this we will get the solution so it is very important method so solve these problems so thank you for watching please subscribe